Hello friends, how are you guys doing today? Today's tarot and oracle reading is all about the full moon release. And I just realized all of my cards are kind of <laughs> wonky. Let's straighten those out. So the full moon. Um, the full moon is about the completion of a cycle. The full moon gets illuminated by the sun and reflects that light back to us. It shines light on so many things that we otherwise would not see at night. Um, you know, when there's a new moon, it's dark. But when there's a full moon, we can see so much more, so much of what is hidden. And then after the full moon, it is time for release. It is time to let go of what is no longer serving us and to move forward into the next cycle. So while this reading is for the April 2020 full moon, which is happening on April 7th, this is a timeless message. This can apply to any full moon or any cycle of release that you feel like you need to go through. So if you are seeing this video at a later date, trust the universe, trust that there's messages here for you, okay? So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know what the different aspects of your natal chart are, please let me know down in the comments and I can direct you to a calculator that will help you figure that out. So today's spread consists of three different piles. This first pile is the Animal Totem Tarot and this is about illumination. The second pile is the Steampunk Tarot and this is about release. This third pile is about transformation and is a combination of different oracle texts. We have the Making Magic, Numerology Guidance Deck, Enchanted Map Oracle, and the Magical Herb Oracle. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get started with your illumination. So this is about what can no longer be hidden. Wow. Starting off with the world, the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Cups. What can no longer be hidden? Your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations. This is about you seeing what your goal is, understanding what your goal is, and having the confidence to go for it. This isn't about going after what someone else is wanting anymore. This is about embracing you, embracing your desires, and showing those to the world. Taking the steps to go after what it is that you want. I'm feeling a big period of change coming for you, Sagittarius. And a very positive change. We have the World card here. Ten of Cups. These are very positive, um, abundant manifestation cards. We've got the Eight of Wands. As you can see with this horse running, like that is speed. Um, that is fierceness. It's going after your dreams. The Page of Cups, this is something new. Something new that's washing up onto shore into your, um, into your consciousness. This is, I don't know if this is something that you've been consciously hiding, or if this is something that you're going to stumble upon and find this and new information to just be rejuvenating and enlightening and inspiring. Um, it could be that this information, this idea was hidden from you or that you've been hiding it from the world, but either way, it's time for a change and I'm sensing very positive things with this change. So let's move on to the next pile, which is release. This is what you can let go of. Starting with the Six of Engines, the Two of Submersibles, and the Ace of Leviathans. This is letting go of a need for someone else to justify you. This is letting go of the need for vindication. 
um, it's you owning up to your own power and not needing anyone but yourself. I mean, sure, it's nice to have other people in your lives, you know, friends, family, companions, lovers who are on the same page as you. But this is letting go of the idea that you need that person or persons. The Six of Engines, this is victory and you being proud of yourself no matter what. This is letting go of needing other people's approval to celebrate your wins. Just celebrate them. Let go of the need to please someone else and please yourself. This two of submersibles, this is, um, you know, enjoying relationships but not needing a relationship. And then this Ace of Leviathans, we've got this spotlight on these two areas of the land here. And this is, you know, yeah, I mean, the spotlight is there, but there's so much more outside of the spotlight. You don't need to be there in the spotlight to be amazing. You don't need to be in the spotlight to do what you've always wanted to do. And the spotlight doesn't mean that you, um, like, it's not like a celebrity spotlight. It is just something that, you know, maybe you've always focused on this one particular area which has fascinated you, but now you're kind of looking elsewhere. You can still find joy in the elsewhere. You don't always have to be on what um, either you or other people have always indicated you should do. Okay, so it's time to let go of the need to be... What's the word I'm looking for? The need to please other people? You need to please yourself. Okay? We have the card of courage. This is the strength to go after this um, this dream. We have the card of home. So that's interesting. So this I'm feeling like your house, your temple, be it your physical home that you live in or just your physical body where your spirit resides, where your consciousness resides is very important and we need to take care of our home. We need to, um, you know, treat our bodies well. We need to take care of our physical home. Create a sacred space within your home. Create a space that you feel, um, you know, this Ten of Cups energy, this loving family home, this abundant, um, beautiful place. Make that place a reality. Even if your dreams do not involve you know, a spouse or children or whatever material goods. This is what your definition of your home is. Perhaps it's a place with luscious gardens, you know, just like on this card, almost like a fairy home. Um, perhaps it is a Victorian manor. Perhaps it is a minimalist house. How do you envision your home and how can you take the steps to bring that into your life. Have the courage to show who you are through your house. Not only, again, your physical house, but through your being as well. So how you express yourself with your hair, your dress, your makeup, um, your mannerisms. Have the courage to be you. And then we have the card of teaching and learning. This is, you know, when we find new things, like I was saying up here, I wasn't sure if this is something that you already, <clears throat> sorry, I wasn't sure if this is something that you already had in your, um, in your aura, in your energetic field. I wasn't sure if this was something that is, was a, um, you were aware of yet, but with this teaching and learning card, I'm feeling like this might be knowledge that is going to come in, which is going to spark this change. Um, 
With this wave, though, waves start long before you ever see them. So I feel like the wave is already in motion, even if the, um, even if it hasn't, you know, cascaded onto the shore yet, even if it hasn't, you know, come up onto land into your, um, into your consciousness. You, it might still be something that is happening on a subconscious level, but is coming up. Okay. And then we have the cards of Mystic Star, Harmony in the Home, and Great Friendships. Well, more emphasis on the home. This also speaks of friendships, right? So this is not doing it by yourself. We don't need the approval of other people, but that doesn't mean you have to do it alone, right? I'm not saying there's no spouse, there's no friends involved in this. I'm just saying the need to please them should not come before the need to please yourself. And then your last card is protection. Strong protective magic for the family and the home. Yeah. <laughs> and actually protection goes really well with this courage. Um, so make sure you are protecting your physical body, your physical space, your home. While you're going through this transformation, maybe it's time to make sure that you are interacting with people who inspire you, with people who motivate you. If people are triggering negative emotions in you, if they are triggering sadness, fear, anger, then that might not be something that you want in your life right now. That might be someone you need to distance yourself from, to protect yourself from. I'm not saying you need to distance yourself forever from this person, but during this transition, it's time to focus on you. And I think that's the whole message, Sagittarius, is this full moon release is more about letting go of the need to please others and bringing in the need and desire to please yourself. Okay? So that is my tarot and oracle reading for you about this new full moon release. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Sagittarius, and if you did, please hit that subscribe button so I can see you in the next video. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.